Hey up duckies, Andy Lippy here, how's everyone doing today? Back with another tutorial on OBS. This one is actually a question that's come from Carlos Luna. It is, if I set this up to a specific source, how do I trigger that on a stream deck or hotkey? I think you were going to make this on another video for that, but I didn't see it. But thanks a lot, your tutorials are great. Cheers like Carlos. Right, I'm going to answer this, but before we get into it, subscribe and also press that like button, it'll proper help me out. I'm going to keep doing as many of these tutorials as I can, and if you've got any questions, drop it down below. Let's go for it. So Carlos left that comment on my Animate Your Stream With Motion with like live camera movements video which you'll be able to see up the top just here if you do want to look at that so you kind of got a bit of context but we'll talk about how to make that into a hotkey that you can use on a stream deck i use quite a lot but i've refined my methods so i'm going to show you the best way that i've kind of got everything set up at the moment it is so simple to do all right so let's get into it we've got our movement as you've just seen there live camera movements and i've got that set up let me move my camera right now for you pop it up there so if we look down here, right click here and press filters, you can see I've got different camera movements just here. So that does look quite complicated because there's a lot there. But the best thing to do, every time you do make one of them movements, which you can see in that video that I just linked, the link is below as well, make sure you label everything up in the best way possible. So the way that I've got everything set up is what camera it's gonna be, even though now I use both cameras as the same thing, what scene it's on and what that camera does so that way you can easily find them in the next menu i'm going to take to so we jump up to the top go to file press settings and then what you'll be able to do is go to hotkeys so in hotkeys what we can actually do is search through them all you'll see i had only a few different hotkeys just there like control num but what I can search for is, if you remember, it was um, cam1 and then dash, uh, zoom. That should search everything. There's not picking anything up, so if you do have that issue, just try and type in zoom or whatever you've called it. So I've got zoom bottom right here, you can see, on my game scene, which is the one that I'm using right now. And I've set all these up to different control numpad that's what i really use and then i uh, when i've used all nine numpads i'll, I'll start using the minus the, the divide everything uh, well yeah and the times all that jazz and then i'll also add in the alt as well so i'll be like oh one two uh, three four and carry on going up and up like that but you want to use stuff that you're not using globally on your keys and does that make sense is everyone following so far i know it can be a little bit confusing to get your head around so i'm just going to take say my cowboy for instance my cowboy scene i've got just a normal zoom so that'll just zoom the camera in just so you don't get complicated we're looking at this one just here i've got it on control num one because that makes the animation go forward and then control num two to make the animation go backwards easy as that all you got to do is click on it hold the button you want num one control Num two, and that's forwards and backwards. And, and as you can see, I've actually used them for multiple different sources. Because when I'm on a different scenes, because all these here, these are all different scenes. So when I'm on these different scenes, I'm not gonna be using a different zoom, am I? At the same time. So that way you can minimize how many different kind of um, shortcuts and, and hotkeys that you've got, you can minimize them down and then only use ones that you've got on each scene if that makes sense so you can use multiple multiple hotkeys for different scenes multiple same hotkeys for different scenes even i'm getting confused now that's what happens when you don't script these videos out but once you've got your um and once you've got your hotkeys sorted and you're happy with, with everything you want to press apply okay and then if you are using a stream deck i mean we can just use the keyboard so i'm pressing control one control two and that'll allow my zooms to just work jumping into stream deck just here mine might look a little bit complicated because i've got a few different ones so like when i use that one that makes it move to the top right bottom right bottom left top left and they're individual zooms for each one 
So we're talking about the zoom. You can see what you need to add to get that to work is go to where is uh, is it system hotkey switch. So I'll put it here. Hotkey switch. Hotkey one is the animation going forward. Hotkey two is the animation going backwards. And then if I press that, you'll be able to see. Every time I press it, the zoom goes in and out. It's as easy as that. I mean, you're going to have to probably watch this a few times. I know that I muddled it up a little bit. It, it can be a little bit confusing. But there's genuinely nothing to worry about. Okay? I mean, if you've got any more questions on that, I'll be able to help you out. But getting your head around the hotkeys and, and thinking of better ways of doing it so you've not got millions of different hotkeys. Because when I first started this, I wanted all these individual zooms. Like, every single zoom that I've got here does something completely different. So if I go top right, I have to use that zoom. So they all have different hotkeys, but now I've managed to get them all paired up to, to similar hotkeys on different scenes. Are you following that? I really hope that I have nailed that. If not, let me know again, and I'll try and do it a little bit better next time, alright? <laughs> But until then, if you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you have, dislike it if you haven't, and then just subscribe, alright, for more tutorials. Put your rock by the stone, guys. I'll see you soon. See you later.